ആത്മം തോറും സഞ്ചരിച്ച് അവരുടെ പള്ളികളിൽ ഉപദേശിച്ച് രാജ്യത്തിൻ്റെ സുവിശേഷം പ്രസംഗിക്കുകയും സകലവിധ ദീനവും വ്യാധിയും സൗഖ്യമാക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു അവൻ പുരുഷാരത്തെ ഇടയനില്ലാത്ത ആടികളെ പോലെ കുഴഞ്ഞവരും ചിഹ്നവരുമായി കണ്ടിട്ട് അവരെക്കുറിച്ച് മനസ്സലിഞ്ഞു തൻ്റെ ശിഷ്യന്മാരോട് കൊയ്ത്ത് വളരെയുണ്ട് സത്യം വേലക്കാരോ ചുരുക്കം ആകയാൽ കൊയ്ത്തിൻ്റെ യജമാനോട് കൊയ്ത്തിലേക്ക് വേലക്കാരെ അയക്കേണ്ടതിന് യാചിക്കുവീൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു harvest uh, and then you have you no know, ask the lord of harvest to send out laborers into the harvest what is harvest here yeah what is harvest here john 4 was 35 your association 4 to 35 what is harvest do you not say four months more then comes the harvest but i tell you look around you and see how the fields are ripe for harvesting ini naalu maasam kazhinjittu koithu varunu ennu ningal parayunnillayo നിങ്ങൾ തലപോക്കി നോക്കിയാൽ നിലങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പോൾ തന്നെ കൊയ്ത്തിന് വിളഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് കാണാം എന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ എന്നു ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് പറയുന്നു Hallelujah can we understand that God is looking at you and me as the laborers to go out into the harvest and what is Jesus saying pray to the lord of harvest this morning let us pray lord send laborers into the harvest field can you look around and find that people are crying can we look around and see people who are weeping and praying that somebody would come to my home somebody would pray for me somebody would say the god people to my friend my brothers my sister my family have you seen such people around look around not just in the church but outside the church among our families among our friends are there people crying out are there people in need of this gospel yes sometimes we look at past as if you no know, this is not our world all right is this a reality do we know people out there waiting what is harvest in 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 the farming language for the farmers it is the seeds or the grain that is ripened to be gathered that is harvest but that word harvest in the market language can mean that the product is ready and you can make the profit in the market language it is about the product that is ready to make your profit but in spiritual language in the gospels harvest refers to souls harvest refers to people who are ready to be saved jesus we don't know how many of them are out there waiting that somebody would come and share the gospel there are people who are ready to be saved yes there are people who do not believe in god there are people who do not believe in no lack of faith as as jonical was saying lack of faith is a sin but it's not a, a complete you uh, know a blanket statement upon the entire humanity in canada according to the reports there are only 34% people who are agnostics and atheists agnostics are not people who do not believe in the existence of god they are still searching they do not know but rest of them are there even among these people you no know, sometimes in the debate when with the atheist and the theist people those who proclaim that god is there if the atheist wins he says thank god i won the debate yeah. knowingly unknowingly they believe in the existence of god human being cannot live without the existence of god hallelujah there are multitudes of people waiting to hear the gospel people are desperately looking for a divine intervention in life but i don't feel that burden many times because our family members are in faith or we are not bothered about others but there are some no those who are from families alone in faith i know there are families here there are individuals here there are individuals who are listening to me right now there are people in our family that we want to be saved we have people in our family who have lost the faith and we are praying lord bring them back the harvest is ready believe that the spirit of god is working in those lives etra per korappunda devathinte aathmaavu nashtapetto ondirikkunna aathmaakalude edil devam pravartikkunnundu കൊയ്ത്തിലേക്ക് നിങ്ങളെ ഓരോരുത്തരെയും ദൈവം വിളിക്കുകയാണ് ഹാർവെസ്റ്റ് ഇസ് റെഡി ആർ വി റെഡി ടു പ്രേ ജീസസ് 
our human intervention have limitation i can go to a home and pray and say that god would heal you yes that's what i can do but i can go help them with money or whatever all the things have limitation but they are waiting for a divine intervention hallelujah there needs to be a divine intervention for salvation to happen yes look at the people around the needy ones there are people crying out i need help don't we find people crying out for help the world looks at people and sees how we can exploit them at the point of their need when a person is in need the world looks at them and says i will help you it is not to benefit that person it is to exploit that person most of the time but when god looks at needy person it is not to exploit it is not about what i can get it's about what i can give and that sacrifice is given for us on that cross hallelujah you and i are here in the presence of god because of that sacrifice jesus our compassionate lord looks at people around and sees that they are waiting for a divine intervention jesus people who are alone for faith they have come and shared many times with lot of burden please pray for my family members i want them to be saved Amen. one of unsaved mother died and this child was all alone in faith from that family could not be controlled not because she lost her mother on earth but because she lost her forever she could not take it it was too difficult many times we don't understand that pain those who don't have jesus are lost forever and people are crying see that is what was 37 jesus said can we read was 37 koitu valare undu satyam velakaro churukam laborers are few harvest is plentiful but unfortunately as missiologists would say people are looking for harvest within the church one church looks at another church as a mission field church is not our mission field our mission field is outside the church how many of us believe that hallelujah our mission field is our friends and relatives who are not in the lord and so pray for them and pray that god send somebody to save them hallelujah. yes this morning one of the books that i read recently it says for one missionary to be out there there need to be you no know, nine people at least praying for them from the you know secular way of uh, running the things in the world when one person in the front front line there are nine people backing up when somebody in our family is out there ministering how many of us can pray for them jesus this morning i am challenging some of us to be the sender of the gospel hallelujah senders of the laborers if you want to be the senders start praying lord send laborers into the mission field hallelujah are there anybody in your family in ministry can we see your hand i know there are several can we see some hands who who can say that yes somebody in my family is out there proclaiming the gospel how many of us are on the knees to pray for them they need our backing our church needs a backing of people out there hallelujah yes jesus prayer is powerful jesus see verse 38 9 38 it says ask the lord of harvest to send the laborers into his harvest agayal koitinde yajamannode koitilekku velakare aikkendadinu yajikuvin ennu paranju if harvest is souls if harvest refers to soul and lives god owns those harvest god owns them and he is saying send laborers into my harvest into his harvest people belong to god and god has decided to save them how many of us know that god has decided to save them this is something critical for us to know don't think that they are gone forever i have been praying for some family members for years and don't think that the prayers will be not answered believe that god has set a time to deliver them hallelujah god has set a time to deliver ninevites yes jonah did not understand it sometimes we blame jonah but we don't understand that we have given up on some people start praying knowing that god has set a time to deliver them they belong to god god wants to save them so pray lord send laborers if i cannot reach if my voice is not influential send somebody who can influence their life 
Jesus. This morning, let me remind us, we need to be good influencing people. And that is why we are praying for our children, that they would rise up to the position of influence, not for making money. They would have influence in the lives of people to share the gospel. Do you have influence? Do I have influence? Yes, when we have a good gesture, a smiling face, you have an influence. Transfer that gospel into them. Yes, one of our believers here told me that when he was going through most difficult situation, somebody came to him and asked, how are you smiling? How are you happy? Share the gospel. Gospel is the reason of our joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sometimes we say this is for him or this message is for all of us. Amen. Let us share the gospel. Ask the Lord to send the laborers into the mission field. Jesus. Why laborers are required? This is something critical for us to know. Verse 36. Matthew 9, 36. Avan Purusharata idai nillata adigale pole kudanyavarum chinnyavarum ay kandattu avare kurichu manasalinju. Can we understand that situation? Jesus is saying, people are harassed and helpless. They are harassed. The system of this world is harassing them. The religious system of this world is harassing them. Yes, time and again we have seen and we have known when somebody wants to get connected with God and come to the church, they see problem in the church and stop coming to church anymore. System of this world, the religious system of this world is harassing the people to be saved. Sometimes we become an hindrance in the kingdom of God. God is saying, pray. There are helpless people out there. Can we understand that? Jesus was having pain because these people were helpless. They had no hope. And when Jesus went around, there were people thronging again, thronging after him to be healed. There were many people who were sick. Yes. Matthew chapter 9 verse 36 when Jesus says that people are in need, we can see different kinds of people in sickness. As I'm a student of the Bible also, let me tell you, let me remind us that Matthew chapter 8 and 9, in two chapters, there are 10 miracles mentioned. And it is towards the 8 and 9, the last part of 9 that Jesus is saying, he saw people in need of healing. He saw people in need of divine intervention. Look at that chapter, lack of time, I will not go in detail, but look at chapter 8. There is a leper there who is saying, Lord, are you willing to heal me? The system of this world, the religious system of this world would declare you that you are a leper. You cannot come into this place. You have to be isolated. You have to be out of the community. That's all the system can do. Jesus. But Jesus said, I will touch you. I will heal you. Jesus. Many times when we go wrong. Yes. Hallelujah. Many times when we fail, people look at us and say, you are not worthy to come to church. You are not good enough to be in the church. But God is looking at that person and saying, I am ready to heal you, Jesus, and restore you. Bring you back into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Can we pray for our dear ones who are pushed out of the, out of the community, pushed out, out of the kingdom of God and say, Lord, touch them and heal them. We don't want unholy people. We want unholy people to be healed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Assembly of God is a group of people who are cleansed and sanctified by the blood of the Lamb. Jesus. We don't entertain sin. We don't. But we entertain sinners. Jesus. Shall we pray, Lord, touch them. Heal them. We don't want to condemn them. Lord, redeem them. Hallelujah. You find many examples down there, one after the other. You know, people of different sections of the society a centurion coming and saying, heal my son, heal my servant. Yes, down there, there is a man at the pool of Bethsaida who has been there for 38 years. He had decided his end. He said, nothing more is going to happen. And that is where Jesus is asking, do you want to be healed? Jesus. This morning, let us pray. Those needy ones would have the sense of prayer. Lord, I need you. I need you. I was just thinking, People who are in ICU, those who go into a you know, coma state and on ventilator, they don't know what's happening. Sometimes lives are like that. In sin, they are dead. They don't realize the need to return to the Lord. 
can we pray lord deliver them just like we pray with burden for our dear ones on ventilator can we pray lord give them the sense back hallelujah like just like that son who left the home the second son who left the home some time in his life he had the sense back and he said lord let me go back to my father's home can we pray lord give that sense to my child give that sense to my dear one i can see the spirit of god working in each one of our lives this is not coincidence let us pray lord my dear ones my family members speak to them oh lord jesus jesus and believe me jesus is saying people are ready harvest is ready can we pray lord send the laborers can somebody go and share yes yes i believe just one word from us sometimes a welcome to the church is enough for people to come to church and to know the lord forever in their life to have a relationship with the lord can we go out and say yes jesus loves you sometimes we think this is salvation message so simple message for others and not for me but this morning let us remind each one of us need that this message yes hallelujah people are harassed and he says they are like sheep without a shepherd sheep without a shepherd i have no time to go in detail and we have bible study on saturday i, I praise god for all those who join we go in detail to know how god loves us how god delivers us all the religious system and and things of the word of god we have adult sunday school in the morning which is a blessing to all of us who attend hallelujah let us get back to god and say lord we need good shepherds in jesus time there were a lot of false shepherds just as i said they were only to exploit they were only for selfish reason one of the false shepherd that we find in the word of god just an imagery is of saul Saul the king the first king of Israel he was supposed to go out and war and win the victory for Israelites but he was hiding out of fear not only he the entire nation was hiding but in midst of that there comes a shepherd a shepherd boy hallelujah whom the world thought is not worthy this morning let this message be to each one of us the world may be looking at you and me and saying you are so small you are so little but in this morning if we can trust the great shepherd that good shepherd and take up our position god would anoint us hallelujah we can defeat that enemy rescue our nation rescue our people hallelujah people are waiting one prayer from you is enough to break that bondage how many of us believe that one prayer is enough in jesus name one word is enough jesus let us pray lord send laborers into the harvest field oh lord send me oh lord jesus people are helpless people are in total despair they have broken lives they do not know how to come back sometimes yes sometimes we hide and we don't try to surface these issues in the church pornography some are addicted there are religious leaders who are addicted to pornography there are people of all age group who are addicted to pornography as we indirectly heard from the psalm let us pray lord deliver us lord jesus deliver your people oh lord jesus it is demonic let's pray lord of harvest who is looking at souls who are disappointed devastated with various things of this world that's becoming an addiction and destroying them let us pray lord send the laborers how many of us this morning would pray lord send the laborers this morning let the call be very distinctive to each one of our life as we keep our eyes closed can we say lord i pray send the laborers can you raise your hands and say yes lord i pray send the laborers